for how long? How about till death do us part? I'm home. Hey, dinner's ready. I got work tonight. I'm gonna head out soon. Tomoki, you've been working too much lately. You've got to take better care of yourself. I'm fine. See ya. I'm Tomoki. I'm 20 years old. I live in a small apartment with my mom. Back in high school, I was working most of the time. I didn't have time to make friends, let alone a girlfriend. <sighs> mom did so much for me. I'm gonna get a really good job once I graduate. But my grades were really bad. I didn't get a single job offer. I worked as a security guard during the day and worked at a convenience store at night. <sighs> a college degree, talent, money, connections. I got none of that. I'm worthless. Nobody needs me. Whenever I passed by the high-rise condos near the convenience store, I got depressed. What kind of person lives here? I guess I'll never know. But then, that night, I met someone. Welcome! It was around 11pm. This girl walked into the store. Oh, so pretty. She looks really rich. What is she doing here by herself? What is she looking for? Uh, can I help you find something? Oh, uh, I'm looking for some, uh, meat buns. Have you heard of it? Huh? Uh, they're next to the register. Ah, okay! One, please! The girl bought a meat bun and left the store. by myself. My parents were really strict. Back in high school, I didn't have time to make friends, well, let alone a boyfriend. I studied like crazy and got into a really good college. I moved to the city and got my own place. For the first time in my life, I was free! And, uh, when I was a kid, my parents didn't let me go to convenience stores. Delicious! I'm loving it! I love convenience stores, and that guy was really nice to me. He was really good at his job. He must be a trained professional. Tomorrow, I'm gonna try one of those rice balls, like the one I saw in that manga. Ooh, what flavor should I get? Maybe I should ask that store clerk. The girl started coming to the store more often. Welcome! Uh, got any, uh, yakitori? And some beer, please. She was like a princess who came from a world without convenience stores. She came here almost every night, asking me all kinds of questions like, What's a recommended rice ball for beginners? She was a bit weird. My colleague stayed away from her. Oh, yakitori and beer. <laughs> Sounds good. I didn't really know how to deal with her either, but I was kind of worried about her. She just seemed so naive. Huh? Is she eating outside? I better keep an eye on her. It's late. <sighs> Yakitori and beer! This is exactly like that anime! Oh, this is great! Hey there, you drinking by yourself? What's the matter? Wanna be friends with me? <gasps> this is just like that anime. Huh? I'm not sure what you mean, but come drink with us. <sighs> okay, this place has all kinds of beers. Oh, forget this place. We know a better place. Come on. But... Oh, come on. We're friends now, right? Ah! Get away from her! She said no! Huh? Huh? Who the hell are you? You work here? We're customers here. You better watch your tone, buddy. You're not welcome here if you're gonna cause trouble! Get out! Now! What the? <sighs> fine, fine. Chill out. Uh, thank you. I, uh... 
<sighs> What's wrong with you? You shouldn't be talking to guys like them. Huh? Look, I've been meaning to tell you. You shouldn't be out here by yourself like this. It's late. It's not safe. But I live right there. That's not the point. Those guys could have hurt you. You're pretty. You gotta be more careful. <laughs> pretty Then, I heard someone clearing his throat behind me. It was an old man. Uh, Mr. Sheena! <clears throat> Ma'am, I thought we had a deal. Wh what I, uh, no, uh... Curfew is 8 p.m. And you're not supposed to eat after 11 p.m. That was the deal. But now... No! Please don't tell Dad! We better have a talk. Come on. Sir, thank you for looking out for her. Uh, sure. I think he was her butler. He took her back to her house. A few days later. Thank you for the other day, Mr. Tomoki. How do you know where I live? I didn't want to bother you at work, so I looked you up. Along with other things. Uh, huh? You don't have any talent. Your first love friendzoned you. You almost got held back a year in high school. And you got rejected from all the companies you applied to. Uh, you came here to thank me, right? But, you're an honest, trustworthy guy. Your friends and teachers trust you, and you're a hard worker. Oh, and you can do almost every kind of housework. And most importantly, you take great care of your mother. Uh... So, we decided to hire you. You'll be Andrew's caretaker from now on. Huh? Your job is to look after her and take care of her. You'll have to quit all your other jobs, but whatever you are making will add an extra $1,000 to it. Uh, what on earth are you talking about? Anju's parents were really strict. Anime, video games, fast food. She never got to enjoy any of that as a child. But then, when she started living on her own, she just exploded. At first, I let her be. She deserved a break, you know? But it started to get out of hand. She started missing class, and she started gaining a lot of weight. Her parents didn't find out? No, they have no idea about any of this. I'm her butler, so I come here every two days or so, and I knew something had to be done. Her parents are abroad right now, so... I told her if she cleans up her act, I won't tell them, but... Ah, oh, I see. And the thing is, I'm about to retire. I'm gonna move to a tropical island with my wife. But I can't just leave Anju like this, so... You understand what I'm saying? Uh, no... I'm gonna tell them that I found a talented bodyguard from a security company, okay? Uh, I guess... I had no idea what was going on, but I think I just got a better job. How did this happen? Well, that night when Mr. Sheena showed up at the store... You shouldn't be going to convenience stores at this hour. It's dangerous. You're gonna get yourself into trouble. But it's right next to my house, and this place is really safe. If you want to go there, you have to be back by 8 p.m. No! If I go there early, I won't be able to see him. Huh? He taught me all kinds of new things. I just feel really excited when I'm with him. Wait, you mean... And he just saved me back there. He's the one for me. It's just like that scene from that anime. 
I have no idea what you're talking about, but listen, this is all just new to you. That's why you're so excited. But all this excitement, it'll pass. I don't think you're actually in love with him. How can I be sure, though? You can't take him away from me! Please! Hmm... And so, he decided to hire me as her caretaker slash housekeeper. Tomoki! Hey! I'm home! Uh, hey there! Today, we're gonna go to a grocery store. I'll teach you how to cook a nutritious meal. Yay! Can I buy some chocolates too? Sure, but only one. Oh, uh, by the way, the contract I got from Mr. Shina, the period of employment field is left blank. Did he tell you anything about that? It's until you graduate college, right? Um, <laughs> how about, uh, till death do us part? Huh? Uh, okay. She's probably referring to some anime again. Oh, you mean it? Promise? <sighs> yeah, yeah. She was in love with me, but at the time, I had no idea. When it came to romance, I was just as naive as her, so... What did you think of today's episode? Please come back tomorrow for more! Thanks for watching! Bye!